it is mandatory to watch this video to understand the theoretical part of calibration and validation considering concept 1 and concept 2. If you skip this video, you may be run into problem at the later stage. So understanding this theoretical part is a mandatory. Two concepts are available based on the calibration and validation which we are going to do. Let's we explain the both concepts. In the concept one, we have a time series and a discharge data. We have observer and simulation data divided into calibration and validation period. First we run the SWET model for calibration period with observer and simulated value. When the calibration finished and we satisfied, we receive some good R scale such as a 0.75 or some another value. That R scale means we have received the fitted basin parameter that we need to write into sweat at a later stage. From that same fitted parameter, we run the model on the validation data. We simulate model and we again compare the simulated value and observed value and validate it. Then we receive some different accuracy. It may be a more than your calibration or less than our calibration. When we satisfied, then this period has a no use because we are only dealing with a fitted parameter. Calibration means to receive the fitted parameter for a catchment. If we receive a good NSE and a good R scale, then we write this value to sweat model. So this is about the concept 1. And what is the concept 2? In the concept 2, we extend our calibration period data, the input data to the entire series. But what is the difference then how we can validate it? In this calibration, we are remember we are not running any machine learning in that we need to divide a data into training and a testing. We are doing the calibration. In a calibration, we receive fitted parameter. That fitted parameter can be compared with the observer data at any stage or any part of a time series. So what about validation? This in this we have one good thing also because we have more calibration data. That means we have more chances to get the better fitted parameter. Then what about a validation? During calibration sweat cup also do the validation of a best fitted data with the observer data of entire series. Sweat will do the fitted parameter and again compare and simulate the model with observer data during the calibration that is called the best simulation. So what about validation? We can do the validation on a, any set of a data. Even we no need to do validate this data in a sweat cup also. We can do this simple X and Y series validation at any set of point in Excel also. Because if our calibration data is providing us a good R square from the best simulation, then it will also provide a good R square in Excel or any another program. Because all the series is a calibrated and all the series is a validator in this scenario. So concept 2 is the mostly used by the most of the user. So in this course, we will discuss both of the concepts, concept 1 and the concept 2. But we discuss concept 2 first. So we can do the validation at a point of our choice wherever we like. So now we have a entire data in a calibration and a validation. But if in a study we no need to change a rainfall data, then at this step calibration, validation, parameter fitting. But if in a study we no need to change the rainfall data, then at this step calibration, validation, parameter fitting and calibrator simulation is done in a sweat cup and our most of work is finished in the sweat cup and we have received the fitted parameter the a model that run with fitted parameter parameters and a fitted parameter and a calibrated simulation 
that we all get from a sweat cup and we no need to go to our sweat again. At this step our project is completed and we have an calibrated sweat cup model or calibrated hydrological model. But we need to write this value into sweat. If we are planning to change a rainfall data, we are planning to change a time period or simulate some other outlet of that watershed that we have not observed data but we want to use the same fitted parameter then we write that fitted value to arc sweat.